Andreanka on YouTube here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. To the viewer who asked if I manifested this hair, yes, of course I did. I did it before I got into my human body by selecting parents of which my father, it comes from the father's side, had amazingly thick hair. And thus, he maintained that head of hair, even when he was 80. And the day he died, I stood and said, Dad, holy cow, you still got one heck of a head of hair there. He looked great. So yes, I manifested it. So can you be comfortable in the role that you chose prior? When we come here and then we reject it, especially so many times I hear people saying that they don't like their physical appearance. Be your best of what you chose to come in. You did choose it. So the, the message is, I was, you know, dealt this, and uh, I don't want to be this. So your focus is on not being grateful, not loving who you are, uh, not accepting the role that you chose, because you chose your parents, you chose your genetics, you chose everything. You chose the role exactly the way it's played out. And you also get to choose what you do with it. Everything that you have done up to this point has absolutely been part of what you chose. And all of it is for your betterment and for the planet. Now, you don't have to follow through with that role. You can bail any time and go live a life that's focused on the material world and then have to figure out some other way to learn your lessons. Right? You'll find out when you go over and they say, you know what, you just, you didn't do it. You were hung up on the money or you were hung up on the looks and, and now all of it's gone. It's back in that material world. It doesn't exist anymore for you. So ask yourself, what lasts forever? You. Everything's energy. It's just transitioning into, transforms into other expressions. That's it. It's just expressing itself in a thousand million quadrillion ways. Is that really a number? I don't know. That's all it's doing. Be okay with that. So don't you want to be the best energy expression that you can be? What are you doing with it? Are you being amazing? Or are you sitting there blaming what you got dealt with? Because if you got dealt a really crappy hand, congratulations. You did it on purpose because you might have been a more evolved soul and you thought you could handle it. And you were okay with the fact that you're going to experience pain here. And you know that with that amazing opportunity to evolve your soul, you're going to have to take on some really very challenging feelings and situations. And if you believe they're all real and that that's who you are and you're, you're attached to that experience, this is me, this is what's going on, you can be very unhappy. You're not, you're not recognizing what you are. You're amazing. So I had this gentleman email me. I'm two weeks away from being kicked out on the street. He's overdue on the rent. The water, the electricity was shut off. Somebody got, got upset with me because I said, get a job. He was depressed. He had an amazing job and he kept getting, you know, losing them. Why? Because he didn't like the job. He made choices along the way. And my bottom line is, if you have to pay your bills, go get a job. Go get a job. If you don't want your family out in the street, get a job. We have to solve problems here in the material world in a certain manner until, until which time we don't need money or anything else. And it's a beautiful community of even exchange of abundance. Until then, we have these challenges that we must face. If you have a financial challenge, ask yourself what pattern you have that has placed you in that and what you're going to learn from it to turn it around, because you can turn anything around, anything around. So one of my students in my Breakthrough Fear class uh, just wrote me and said, wow, some amazing stuff starting to happen for her. 
All right, she was told that the repairs to her roof would not be covered by insurance. And so she didn't give up. She realized that, okay, I got to know. That doesn't mean it's a forever no. And I think she was okay if that was the final result. But she called and she took that action and said, well, I really want this repair covered by my insurance company. So she called, somebody came out and gave her $34,000 for the repair. I don't know about you, that must be one heck of a, a roof. Wrote her the check. She said more amazing things are happening. Why? She's shifting into that total higher frequency that there's a solution for everything and that she accepts what happens either way. And that's that neutral turf you go into. So if you don't get your way and you go down here, you, you were never in that higher frequency in the first place. You were hopeful, expecting, and when it doesn't happen, then you tank. You go on that roller coaster ride, right? And so you're not strapped in. You're not ready for it. So I'm asking you right now what you're doing with this amazing journey that you chose. And if you are in a situation that you put yourself in, because we, we can reverse engineer everything. How did I get here? Well, I made decisions along the way. I didn't believe in myself. I didn't make the effort. I, you know, gave in to whatever I've been told about myself that was negative. And thus I sit here, saying that I'm broke, that that's who I am, I'm not an abundant person, saying that, you know, I, I'm going to be on the street, when you can actually turn everything around, everything. You can go get the help and say, okay, I need help, and I'm going to put the effort in, because nobody wants to give you help if you're still over there not fishing, right? Expecting the fish to plop on your plate. Teach a man to fish. And those are, part of, those are part of our lessons here as part of the journey that are amazing. To put that effort in is amazing. And the, what you learn from it about yourself is amazing. And it feels great, by the way. It feels great. And then you become that person. And then more opportunities come to you because you're that person who's putting in that effort who's learning about themselves, who's deciding not to be the person who's depressed and keeps losing their job how many times. If you didn't like your job, you could have gotten trained on something else and then quit that job. So no, my advice, which was asked for, was you need to take care of your family, go get a job and have your wife get a job and call up your landlord and the electric company and say, I need help. I just got a job. I need help. Can you, you know, whatever, whatever they, that you can do to work with them instead of running from it. Face those situations that you have placed yourself in and be amazing. Because there is a solution for everything and you're creating it. So I created this scenario here. I have the hair. I decided to come in as a certain person looking a certain way with a certain personality that's not like everybody else, that's not like the teachers you hear out there, that's going to talk different. And we all get to pick and choose what we, what we desire to listen to or how we decide to behave. And if we want to stay in that hopeless situation, when somebody tells me I'm hopeless, I'm like, well, then, okay, well, then don't come to me because that's, you're the one that gets to change that hopeless. You're not hopeless. We all know you're not hopeless. You know darn well you have the ability to be amazing because you already are. You're just choosing a different experience right now. You're choosing to experience the suffering or the illness or the whatever, but we're, we're giving that, all of that up now. All of it. Why don't you join me in a new earth? In my e-course, we go, we actually, in the end of the course, we actually function from the fourth dimension. We stop thinking of as third dimension people, battling that. We don't try to figure that out anymore. We actually shift into a fourth dimension way of thinking and we 
believe and think of ourselves and think like a fourth dimensional being. We have to ask ourselves, what would that fourth dimension being act like? And so we have all kinds of practices and we go through absolutely everything. We start to shift into the fourth dimension and you can do it too. And if you feel like you need the help, take my course. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug this course all day. Why? Because I've been asked for years to mentor people and I've spent a year putting this together and this is how I'm going to reach people, help change lives. Go through the course and watch when somebody says, did we tell you we wouldn't pay for that roof? Here's a $34,000 check, and that's just the start. That's just the start, and then you won't, you won't even be surprised anymore when that stuff shows up. Why? Because you're amazing. And everybody's going to treat you that way. And you're not going to have expectations, and you're just going to take the action. And you're going to be okay with the outcome, because you know there's a reason for everything, and it's all good. And it's your involvement as a soul start to evolve in the right direction because your time here is limited. You don't want to go into that third dimensional planet and continue to battle these things. You can start to live life as a miracle every day. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.